Everyone knows the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Cute tourist photos, right? But here is what most people don't know. For over 800 years, the world's best engineers kept trying to fix it and kept making it worse. This isn't just a story about bad architecture. It's about brilliant people doing logical things that create disasters. Sound familiar? The tower started leaning in 1173, barely three stories into construction. The obvious problem, it was tilting. The obvious solution, stop the bloody tilt. Simple, right? For centuries, brilliant minds attacked the lean with everything they had. They slapped massive stone blocks on the high side, counterweights to balance the tilt. When they didn't work, they tried pulling it upright with cables. Some genius even tried building the remaining floors at an angle, creating this bizarre banana-shaped tower. Each intervention was logical. Each made perfect sense, and each made the problem worse. The counterweights added more stress to the already unstable foundation. The cables created new pressure points. The angle construction concentrated weight in exactly the wrong places. By the 20th century, the tower was leaning so dangerously that engineers calculated it would collapse within decades. 800 years of fixes had turned a minor lean into a potential catastrophe. But here is the fascinating part. Nobody was asking the right bloody question. They were all asking, how do we stop the thing from leaning? When they should have been asking, why is it leaning in the first place? The real problem wasn't the lean, it was soft subsoil. The tower was built on clay, fine sand and shells. Imagine trying to build a skyscraper on a marshmallow. For 800 years, engineers were essentially trying to fix a sinking ship by rearranging the deck chairs. It wasn't until the 1990s that engineers finally addressed the foundation itself. Instead of fighting the lean, they worked with it. They carefully removed soil from beneath the raised end, allowing the tower to settle back slightly. The tower still leans just safely now. Sometimes the solution isn't fixing what's broken, it's understanding why it broke in the first place.